So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I had some people go ahead and ask me, hey, time for streaming. How do I go ahead and reset my Fire Stick? It's running a little bit slow. And I know if I go ahead and delete some apps, it's still going to be the same. So on today's video, I'm going to show you what steps you need to take to go ahead and reset your Fire Stick to like you just bought it from the store and how to set it up. So stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So today I'm going to show you an easy step-by-step -step on how to go ahead and factory reset your Fire Stick if you're having issues with it and you want to start with a clean slate. Now I'll show you how to go ahead and set it up. So here we go on the home screen. Now I'm happy to be on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. But if you're looking for a new device, check out my description down below. I have a couple of different links in there for devices. Click on the link, no extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel. So that way we can keep going ahead and bringing you some videos. So on your main screen, what you wanna do is go over to the right to where the gear is. Once you click on the gear, go ahead down to where it says My Fire TV. Click on My Fire TV. Then where it says About, just go ahead and scroll down to Reset to Factory Defaults. Give it a click. Now here it's going to ask you, do you want to reset it? Or do you want to cancel? So in other words, are you sure you want to do this? Because everything is going to be lost. Just go ahead, click on Reset, because yes, that you want to do. So now it's resetting your Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max to factory defaults. Let's give that a few seconds to go ahead and run its course and we'll come right back and continue. So right here we get a little message, resetting your Fire TV. Please do not unplug from the power. We'll be right back. Now the Fire Stick is starting to reboot itself so we're coming up to the splash screen, Fire TV. Here's the splash screen that we all know. Let's keep giving it a few more seconds. Let it keep booting itself up. So now it comes up and is saying searching for your remote. Make sure you hold down that home button. Keep it pointed at your remote till it finds it and the screen changes. Once the screen changes, then you know that it has paired your remote to your Fire TV. Now all you have to do is go ahead and press the play pause button to move on to the next. Now it's going to say choose your language. Choose it, then go ahead and click on it. Set up your remote. You can use either set up with the Fire TV app or set up your remote using a remote. I'm going to choose set up with remote. Going to click it. Now it's going to ask you to choose your Wi-Fi. Choose your Wi-Fi. Put in your password and connect. I'll be right back. I'm going to put in my information now. After you go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password, now it's going to come up and say checking for updates. It just told me that my update is up to date. Now you need to go ahead and have an account and sign in, or you could go ahead and create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to choose sign in. Now you can use your phone and scan the QR code, or you could simply go ahead and go down to the bottom where it says sign in with a remote. I'm going to use the QR code. It's just a little bit easier to go ahead and set up. Now it's going ahead and it says, Successively registered. Welcome time for streaming. Let's go ahead, click on continue. Say Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. I don't do that, so I'm going to say no. You can if you like to. Restore your Fire TV. No, I don't want to restore it. I'm going to say skip because I want to set it up myself. Preparing your remote for setup. Give that a few seconds to come on in. We'll follow the instructions on what they want us to do. So what brand TV do you have? Right now I'm using an insignia, so I'm going to scroll down, click on it, give it a few seconds. We'll be playing music. Let's go ahead and set it up, click on next. Then what you need to do is go ahead and press the volume up and the volume down buttons on your remote. And if you hear the music going up and down, you just say, yes, it's fine. Now it's going to ask you, you want kid friendly. 
Do you want to go ahead and pay monthly for some kid things? $7.99 a month after the trial. You can start your trial or you can say no thanks. I'm going to say no thanks. Choose your streaming services. No thanks. And here your Fire Stick 4K Max is designed with kids and parents in mind. Do you want to enable parental controls or no? I'm saying no. I don't have to worry about that. Welcome to Fire TV. You can read the four boxes if you like, but just go ahead and say, got it. Let's move on. Who's watching Fire TV? You can come down to the pencil. You could go click on it. You can change your profile icon if you like. If you come down, you give it a click and you can pick one of the characters if you want. Right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So I'm just going to click on save. Let's go now. Just click on your icon that you have, and it's going to bring you right into your home screen. This is where you want to be. Now your Fire Stick is pretty much set up. Now some other steps you want to take once you get here is to come on over to the right. Let's go back to where the gear is. Click on the gear. Come on down to where it says Preferences. Let's go ahead and click on Preferences. Parental controls. We said no, we don't want it. So let's just go make sure that it is off, and it is off. Click on that back button. Privacy settings. Click it. Manage sharing from apps. Make sure you turn that off. Device usage. Turn it off. You can read to the right if you want. You can read all the little passages. It tells you what it is. I always turn mine off. Turn it off. Collect app data. Turn it off. Turn it off. Amazon Photos. So if you want to see photos, you can go ahead and leave this on or disable it. I'm going to click disable for now. Interest-based ads, turn it off. Now click the back button. Go down to the next one. Data usage monitoring. Click it. Make sure it's off. Notification settings. Click on it. Do not interrupt. Keep it off. App notifications. Alexa's on. Do you want to know it? You can keep it on or turn it off. Click that back button. Click it again. Featured content. Go ahead and click it. Allow video autoplay. What this is, this is for when you're on the home screen and you see that big giant ad. You could go ahead and have that play or if not, just turn it off. Allow audio autoplay. Turn it off. Click that back button again on your remote. Now let's go ahead and click the home button on your remote. Now, the next thing you want to do is very important. If you're going to put third-party apps onto your Fire Stick, you need to come on over to the gear again. Come on down to where it says My Fire TV. Give it a click. Come to where it says About. Click on where it says Fire TV Stick. Click it around several times. And now you are a developer. Come on down to where it says Developer Options. Click it. ADB Debugging. I always turn it on. Some people turn it off. Install unknown apps, give it a click, and then say OK to it. As soon as you start putting some apps in here, then you have to come back in here, and you'll have to turn them on to give the permissions. That way your apps will update and allow you to do other things with your apps. Now go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. Now the one app that a lot of people want right away onto their Fire Stick is Downloader. This is how you go ahead and get it. Go over to the left to where Find is. Let's come on down to where it says D. Click on D. Come over to the right. Down to Downloader. Go ahead and click on Downloader. Give that a few seconds to come on in. Here it is underneath Apps and Games. Click on Downloader. Download your own it. Click it. Give that a few more seconds. Click OK. It's going to install itself for you. We're just waiting for the installing button to turn to open. Then we'll open it up. Here it is. We got the open. Click on open. And then make sure you always allow. Click OK. Now click that home button on our remote before we do anything else. Go back over to the gear. Come on down to where My Fire TV is. Click on My Fire TV. Click on Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and here you must turn it on. So just give it a click and it'll automatically switches to on. Once you click on, 
go click on that home button on your remote. Now you want to come over to where the three squares are on the plus sign. Give that a click. Anytime you download something new, it's always going to be at the bottom. Go over to the right where it says Downloader. Click on Downloader. Let's open it up again. Go up to the top, and you want to type in the following little shortcut code. This will bring you to the Time for Streaming webpage. Let's go down to where it says Go. Click on Go. It's going to connect. Come up, timeforstreaming.com. Give that a few seconds to switch on over. Once you get onto the Time for Streaming webpage, come on over to the right. Go to where the three lines are. Click on the three lines. Come on down to where it says Downloads. Click on Downloads. Wait for that page to change. Now you want to go ahead and scroll on through. You can download anything you want in here. But some people just want a fast, easy, go ahead and download tool. So APK time. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to redirect and install itself. Click on Install. Give it a few seconds, click on Done, click Delete, click Delete again, click on Home. Now let's go back over to the three squares and a plus sign, give it a click, down to the bottom again. Here it is, APK Time. Once you come into APK Time, just go ahead, have fun. Go through here, see what you like, and download it. A lot of good items in here. Please remember to click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I go ahead and put up some more videos. I hope you found this video very helpful, entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if it helped you to go ahead and factory reset your fire stick. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.